Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Krista and I hope you're all having a great day. Um, today is actually Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Especially to my mother. If you are watching, then happy Mother's Day. I love you a lot. And so today we are in San Sequoia. I kind of figured um, this is going to be going out probably the day after Mother's Day. <laughs> But um, since we're so close to Mother's Day, I wanted to do a home for a large family. And so that is what we are doing. This is a single story house for a large family. I was hoping to fit a total of eight Sims in this house, but I, I believe I ended up being able to fit six of them. Um, and one of the rooms, there's two children sharing that room. Um, I, I kind of figured that they were either twins or just very close in age. And so they are sharing a room. They have like bunk beds and stuff. And you know, using the bunk beds are always fun anyways. I love using the bunk beds in The Sims. And so yeah, um, a little bit, there is really no storyline. <laughs> I was going to say a little bit of a storyline for The Sims that live in this house, but quite honestly, I did not think of any storyline. It's just a big family, you know? And the parents are just very, they love being parents. Their kids are their world. Um, they could not imagine life without their kids. And so I tried to make this house look very family oriented. I did not put a lot of toys and like children's toys and stuff in the living room like I have done in the past. But with that being said, this house still looks very much family oriented. I did put like some lunch boxes in the kitchen and a bunch of different stuff. We'll go more into it as I'm actually furnishing the house. The exterior of this house is quite different than what I usually do. I usually do two story houses. Um, I do not do one story houses very often. Really pretty much only when I build starter homes. <laughs> um, other than that, I really don't build one story houses often. But honestly, it was really fun and one story houses are just as good as two story houses. And probably a lot more realistic. Not saying that two story houses don't exist, of course. There's just a large portion of us live in a one story house, you know, me included. So um, it's, it's nice for a change to do one story houses. You really don't see that much in The Sims. Um, I feel like a lot of people that do speed builds, it's it's really a lot of two-story houses. And so I want to do something a little bit different. I hadn't, my intention when first building this house was to do like a small house for a large family. Well, once I did the layout of this house, I realized it's really not that small. And so um, I'm not going to call it like small home for a big family or something like that. That was the goal, but that didn't really turn out that way. So it's just a one story family home. Um, that's pretty much what, that's the, that's the most creative name I could think of for this video. <laughs> so I'm sorry, it's not too creative, but I mean, it, it's, it's true. It, it is a one story house for a large family. It's a pretty large family. I mean, so if there's two parents, there's a teen, two children and an infant. So yeah, six Sims live in this house. It's a six person household. And I, I feel like that is a large family. Um, I mean, in real life too, having like four kids, my sister has four kids. So I have four nieces and nephews and yeah, she has a busy schedule. Um, kids, kids take up a lot of time. My grandma, she had five kids. So I cannot imagine how much you know, she probably did not have very much free time. <laughs> but um, when you're a mom, that's what it's all about. You're all about your, your kids, right? So it definitely is worth it. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely worth it, especially as your kids get older. I'm sure it's, you know, seeing where your kids go in life and the careers that they have and all the accomplishments that they do. Sorry, I, I, uh, cannot pronounce words sometimes, but uh, 
but that's okay. Uh, sometimes I catch it, sometimes I don't catch it. So if you ever listen to a speed build of mine, I probably will mispronounce words sometimes and just uh, ignore it. So um, hopefully, hopefully you guys either don't notice it or you just ignore it too, or you just laugh and shrug it off, <laughs> kind of like me. Um, but anyways, I ended up putting a pool in this build. I really wanted to do a pool and I also wanted to do a tree house too. So I had a little bit of fiddling around in the backyard slash side yard. <laughs> it's not really in the back of the house, it's more on the side. And so, yeah, the fact that I really want to do the tree house and the pool, it made it a little bit difficult, but I was able to figure it out. There's not much yard. <laughs> With that being said, there is not much yard at all. It's mainly pool and tree house, but that's fine, you know? This is like, it's definitely not a starter house, but if you use cheats, it could be a starter house, you know? Um, it's uh, it's probably like in the 100,000 simoleon range. It's, it's definitely not a cheap house. I've done a lot of decorations on the inside, and so it's a little costly, but I know a lot of people use cheats, and then if you do like no cheats in your gameplay, then if you have a good amount of simoleons built up, then it shouldn't be a problem. It is a bigger house, so it's definitely worth the hundred something simoleons and the decorations are good and there's a lot of them. So if it was too expensive, you could totally just delete some of the decorations. And so I got the pool down and got the tree house and I'm just trying to place everything. I want to do something cool with like the porch right there and do like, um, a circular half circle porch but it did not look right there was something weird about it kind of uh, it just didn't look right and I was trying to figure out how I was, I was gonna do the landscaping and so I went ahead and just did a, f a square or a rectangle and filled it out the rest of the way and I put a grill out here and I end up replacing that table that has that umbrella I end up replacing it because as I was looking in debug I found this debug umbrella from Growing Together and so I got the table from Growing Together that doesn't have like an umbrella, it's like a like a picnic table. And so I put the umbrella through it and I love it. I thought it looked really cute and your sims could totally use that. There's no reason why they would not be able to sit there. I did not actually play test it yet, but um, I'm pretty, li I'm like 99% positive your sims would be able to use it. And another thing is that this is a pack restricted build. I did only use the base game, growing together and getting together. <laughs> is it getting together? That um, I used those, those columns from getting together and I'm pretty sure it's getting together. I am totally having a brain fart, but it's the one with like Windenburg and stuff, so. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's getting together. So I used those three packs when I saved it to the gallery It tried to say I used a couple other packs as well like for rent and something else And I I did not I really tried very hard to only use Those three well the two packs plus the base game. I wanted it to be pack restricted. I don't think I've done a speed build that was pack restricted yet. I, I've only done either base game or I've just went all out. I haven't done like base game plus one pack or base game plus two packs. And so I wanted to make an effort to do that here. And it was so hard because I forgot to disable all of my other packs. And so I could see all of the items from those packs and it made it difficult. <laughs> I really wanted to pull out some of those other decorations to decorate with, but I um, I was able to pull myself together and just not give in to the temptation of using the other decorations. So this is 100% base game plus those two packs that I was talking about. And there's not much from getting together. So if you did not have getting together, is it getting together? I need to look it up now because I feel like it's not. <laughs> okay guys, I just looked it up. It's get together. Um, I, f I thought getting together sounded weird. Okay, so it's get together. So yeah, just the growing together, get together, and base game. So like I was saying, I did not use much get together at all. I didn't use 
pretty much the only things I can think of that was from Get Together were the columns and then I used like the pool swatch from Get Together that have like that really pretty aqua blue. I used that as well. And other than those two things, I don't think I used Get Together. So if you don't have Get Together and you just have Growing Together and, and then Base Game obviously, you could totally download this and you'll only be missing those two things, which is not a big deal at all. Like the columns will not be there, but it's really not a big deal. I just put them there for extra decoration and then the pool water is extra decoration too. So it's would totally be fully functional with only growing together in base game. So that's really fun. So it's almost like completely one pack now that I'm thinking of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I ended up succeeding to my goals, so that's awesome. And I'm going to be doing more builds like this in the future as well. I had a lot of fun doing the pack restricted builds. I have a lot of fun doing base game too and just full on packs. So I have a lot of fun with all of it. So there's plenty of ideas that I have in my head. So I do not see myself stopping these speed builds anytime soon. So you guys are stuck with me. <laughs> so I hope um, you guys enjoy the videos. So yeah, if you do, leave a like on this guys. Uh, help a girl out. It will definitely push these videos to other people in the algorithm and it will help me out so much and sometimes I might miss a week here and there guys I am not perfect and I did just start a new job as well so I'm kind of getting acclimated with that so in the next few weeks to the next month or two I might be doing uh, like shorter videos and it's probably only gonna be twice a week as well it's probably gonna be like Monday and Friday or something like that um, depending I might play around with dates here and there I'm trying to figure out the best dates to post on YouTube you know the day the best days of the week so I'm just trying to figure it out but I definitely will be posting at the very least once a week if not twice a week if not three times a week it probably won't be three times a week for a while I just, uh, with this new job that I just started, I, I'm just getting acclimated. So I, I've been finding myself being pretty busy and not having much time to find, to do a, like really big builds like I was doing in the last few videos. So definitely bear with me. Those longer builds are not the end of it. I do have another one that I'm working on. Um, I'm almost done with it. That'll pro probably go out the week after this next week. So definitely stay tuned for that one if you liked my different townhouses then you'll like that build as well um, just a little teaser there but uh, yeah so right now um, I'm just kind of placing filler furniture to figure out the floor plan of this house um, I I had a little bit of a hard time figuring out the floor plan so I wanted to do as many bedrooms as possible and so I wanted to put the dining room and the living room together and the kitchen just right off of that room and so but I also need a big dining table as well because there are six sins in this household plus you know they probably have a big family that they invite over all the time so I wanted to do one of those big like eight seater tables and then of course I cannot build a kitchen without putting an island for some reason. <laughs> um, the main reason why I did that was because I didn't have like a good place to put the sink. So for some reason I cannot stand when the sink, like I, I like for a window to be on the sink, you know, above the sink. And so I can't stand when there's not a window there, but I also can't stand when the windows like, um, if you have like a double pane window, okay, and that's above the sink and that straight white like middle part is right in the middle of the sink. For some reason I can't stand that. I just feel like if that was real life and you're trying to look out the window, that big like middle part of the window, like the window panel right there in the middle is going to be like a view obstruction and so uh, that's the main reason why I... I did the island like this so I could put the sink out to like the living room and the dining room and uh, oh by the way I just realized I did not have enough room to do a big eight seater table so I ended up just doing six so um, I guess I, I lied and then I, I also just realized I forgot a stinking high chair and there is an infant that lives in this house so if you download this build you'll probably just want to place a high chair yourself not a big deal you know it's it's not a big deal it doesn't 
ruin the whole build. It just um, just makes me sad that I forgot to do that. <laughs> I like to put high chairs in my builds, so. I also really like to put the toddler potties in my builds for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think they look so cute, like, next to, like, the big toilet. I think it's so cute. Um, I did not put one in this build, though because there is not a toddler in this build yet. So once that infant grows into a toddler, you'll be able to place the toddler potty yourself. Um, I don't know why I did this, but I used to place toddler potties in the toddler's bedrooms. And I don't know why I used to do that. Um, I, that's just, it's not very realistic. I feel like everyone usually puts those potties in the bathroom because let's be honest. When a kid is learning how to use the bathroom, um, messes happen. So I can't imagine putting that toilet in the toddler's bedroom and what kind of mess could happen, especially on the carpet. Oh God, don't even want to think about that, you know? So um, yeah, so lately, ever since I've thought about that, I just put them in the bathrooms or at least I try to. Sometimes there's no room. So then I have to kind of just do it in the toddler's uh, bedroom. I don't know, I usually just try to make room in the bathroom so that I don't have to be aggravated that it's in the toddler's bedroom. Kind of like the same thing with the litter box for the cats, I feel like. Like, I can't stand putting them in my Sims rooms because I would not want that in my bedroom at all. Um, but I know, you know, not everyone puts litter boxes and bathrooms either. Like, what do you guys do in real life with your litter box for your cat? Um, I have two inside cats, but I also have two spare bedrooms. And so we just put it in one of the spare bedrooms so we don't have to deal with it in our bedroom. Um, but for those of you that don't have a spare bedroom, um, I'm really curious. Do you have to put it in your bedroom? Um, I'm sorry if you do. I, I know. Um, that'll probably keep you, um, more able to change it on time and not forget about it you know I have that problem I kind of I forget about it sometimes in the room by itself but um yeah my my good old fiance I love him so much he cleans the litter box for me and that's awesome because I I can't do the litter box um so he's awesome for doing that for me uh but anyways enough talk about light litter boxes and toddler potties and all of that stuff um we are into the master bedroom now and i put a bathroom in the master bedroom and i also put these double windows here um i thought that looked really pretty i i just kind of had the idea of doing that as i was building this and I put the circular window in the front and then this room in the back had like, it, it was kind of large, you know, that wall right there anyways. And so I wanted to put some really pretty big windows there. And so I figured that just one of those circular windows did not look good or a half circle, I should say, did not look good. It looked a little too like, too plain, you know, on both sides of the window, it looked too plain. And so I put them side by side and it looked so good at least on the outside. And if it looked good on the outside, I know it looked good on the inside. And so I kept it and you know, I was really happy about it. And so now we are just in the bedroom. There's a lot of, or not bedroom, the bathroom in the master bedroom. There's a lot of green throughout this build. A lot of green, a lot of brown, a lot of beige. And I kind of wanted, I don't know, I like green. I love building with green in The Sims. And so that's probably why it happens. And then the green, there. I also use green on the outside. So I kind of wanted to keep true to the colors from the outside on the inside, you know? And so now we are over into the infant's bedroom. There's really nothing too special about the infant's bedroom. I'm having, I'm kind of stuck in like a rut, I guess you can say with infant bedrooms and toddler bedrooms and stuff. Like there's only so much you can do to decorate in an infant's bedroom, especially an infant's bedroom, and a toddler bedroom as well, but I feel like there's more stuff for the toddlers than there are for the infants. And so I'm kind of just, you know, doing the same theme, I feel like, throughout all of my infant's be uh, bedrooms, and I need to try to switch it up a little bit. So with that being said, this is yet again another like green, earthy, 
infants room I feel like I do this for all infants it's either green and earthy and it could be either like it's like kind of gender neutral or I do just like pink <laughs> and purple or I do just like blue and so I really need to try to switch it up there's I wish they put more cribs in the game I'm kind of coming to the point where I'm getting tired of the cribs that are in the game I feel like it's not enough for some reason hopefully future packs will have more cribs Ever since Growing Together came out, I don't think they put any more cribs in the game, so they need to do that. And more toddler beds too. That's another thing that I'm getting tired of, using the same exact toddler beds. And we had one come, I think the last one we had came in like werewolves or something, right? Like Growing Together did not even have a toddler bed for some reason. Um, yeah, I think werewolves was the last toddler bed, and I don't even use that one. The only one I would use that for is for like a werewolf's house because it's all like kind of like patchy and um, definitely looks like a werewolf kid would have it. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't look good in like a normal like suburban build. And you know, if, if you're following me, if you're subscribed to me, you guys know I love my suburban builds. And so... That's like, I don't use it very often. I do love, I think my favorite toddler bed is the one from Eco Lifestyle. That one is so good. They need to do another one just like that. And that's why, you know, Werewolves is close to it. So I was excited when I seen it at first until I realized all like the patchwork and like the scratches on it <laughs> from like the werewolves. Um, I was excited because it kind of resembled the Eco Lifestyle one. It kind of had like the, what do you call those? Like the canopy style, you know? And so, yeah, at first I was happy, but then um, my, my happiness was crushed once I really looked at it closely, you know? But um, yeah, anyways, we are into the teen room now. This is, you know, pretty. It's pink, it's red. Um, it kind of reminds me of Valentine's Day. I used that, oh, that is why. I don't know why, guys. I did use something from Four Rent. That bed is from Four Four Rent. Why did I use that? For some reason, that did not even cross my mind. So now that I'm looking at that, I might go back and replace that bed with something else, or I might just use it. And it's three packs. <laughs> it's three. It's three packs instead of two, plus the base game. You know that that stinks. You know that kind of sucks. But um, that bedroom did look cute. If I would have known that. I would have just used four rent throughout the whole build, <laughs> you know? Um, I, yeah, I, I totally just, that totally just did not cross my mind. But anyways, nothing really too special about the teen's room. There's a computer in there and then her bed and put some candles next to her bed and that's about it. And we are over into like the entryway now and I didn't really know what to do here. It's kind of tight. Um, I don't do entryways like this very often. I usually put a staircase in there. So without the staircase, it was kind of hard to decorate it. Um, but I figured it out and I put like a chair in there and I put like a shoe rack and yeah, it, it looked all right. It, it wasn't the best. Um, well, now we are over into the children's room. I guess this children's room is a little bit different than I've done before. It's pink and green. I don't think I use those colors often together. And they look all right. I mean, I mainly just used it because of the bunk beds that I pulled out, plus that rug that I had. Um, and then those curtains are so cute. I, those are one of my favorite curtains now. I think they came from, did they come from growing together? Or did those come from high school years? Did I use something else from another pack, guys? I'm bad. I am so bad. I tried. I really tried to make this pack limited, but now that I'm looking at the speed build back, I, I think I goofed up on a couple things, but that's fine. You know, you can still download this if you only had Growing Together in Base Game because it's literally mainly those two packs. Like if you downloaded it with those two packs, you'll be missing like five things total throughout the build. And then you could just replace those things yourself. So it's really not a big deal. Um, but anyways, guys, it looks like we're pretty much nearing the end of the video now. If you guys have noticed, I stopped doing the screenshots. I feel like a lot of you guys click off before it reaches the end of the screenshots. And so, you know, why even post them on there? <laughs> you know, if you guys don't want to see them, that's fine. I won't 
take the extra time to take them and put them on there. So let me know if you missed the screenshots. I am really curious how many people actually watch the screenshots. If any, it's a very, very small percentage of you. <laughs> so um, even if just one person tells me they watch it, I if it's just one person, I probably still won't even do the screenshots. It just, it isn't worth it. You guys see the build. You see me do the build, you know? And so I can't, I shouldn't, there's no point for the screenshots really is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, guys, um, I do have just a couple screenshots of like the outside of the house and that's it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and the next video I'll be posting will be on Friday. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. To the city streets, we begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher.